Hey guys, this is Matt Croissant, Internet Manager at McCarthy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Marshall, Missouri. Getting you some information on the 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. Fully loaded truck, comes in this beautiful white frost tri-coat. You got the 20 inch snowflake wheels on there, power running boards, chrome accents all along the side of the body on your door handles, window trim, as well as your outside mirrors. You've got a color matched bumper on here with some nice large footsteps. Dual exhaust for the 6.2 liter V8. Rear parking sensors, tow package, multi pro tailgate, spray in bed liner. You've got the HD surround vision camera system on here as well. Look at that paint coat in the sunlight there. Absolutely gorgeous truck. It's got your onboard 4G LTE Wi Fi remote start. Power moonroof, front parking sensors, front chrome receiver hooks, color matched front bumper with a chrome inlet there, chrome grille. Of course, take note of the full LED headlights and fog lights and your daytime running lights. Super sharp looking truck. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Power running boards, whenever you open the door, it's gonna come right open. There's a couple other features I'll show you in a little bit as well. Driver mirror is gonna be auto dimming and we'll have your blind spot monitors. You've got two memory seat settings in the vehicle as well as your easy exit feature, which will move the seat out of the way for you. Power folding mirrors with your power locks and windows as well. Front two windows will be automatic for you. Wood grain trim. Bose sound system included. Got your Denali kick plates here. Got a nice black leather interior here. It's perforated so you'll have ventilated seating. Power driver and passenger seat with lumbar support on both sides. All right. On the left hand side here is gonna be uh, all of your driving and lighting features. So this dial here is going to control uh, the various driving modes that you can have, and you'll see that over here. So by choosing the mode, you can put it in normal, sport, or off-road, which will just you know change your torque output and things of that nature, shift points. If you rotate it to the left, it'll put you in tow mode. You can see your tow light there and also take note that your gauges actually change up top too. Your ammeter changes to um, your tranny temperature. So uh, pretty slick right there. You've also got four wheel drive options here. Auto, four high, two high, four low. All of your lighting features will be here for you. You've got fog lights included. You've got a bed light. There is LED lighting in the bed in the front and the back. You can adjust the lighting of your gauges. Automatic headlights will be right here. You've also got puddle lights for the outside mirrors. Is, um, it's pretty sharp, actually. Electric parking brake is just down here for you. Up and to the right here, you've got controls for your heads-up display. So let's go ahead and bring that to life there. You can see, uh, if we zoom in a little bit here, there it is on screen for you, um, letting you know that your adaptive cruise control is available. That's a new update for the 2020s. You have adaptive cruise control. You've got a digital speedometer as well as a traffic or a uh, speed limit indicator there. And by hitting the info button, you can change your views here. You can change your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control and your pre-collision system. Uh, the demo mode right here, this will show you uh, music info or navigation. You've got your off-road indicator right here as well, showing you steering angle, uh, pitch and yaw of the truck too. So uh, pretty cool info there. You can also move it up and down wherever you need it to be. Um, you can change the brightness or dim it. Uh, some people don't prefer this feature, but uh, technology is super cool. All right, so zooming back out here. Mounted on your steering wheel on the left-hand side. It is leather wrapped, so you're going to have your heated steering wheel. Cruise control options are going to be here. You've got your pre-collision system right here. So um, you've got two cruise control options right here. So um, pressing your main cruise control button is going to turn that on right there. You can see it's going to be out of focus. But um, And then right here, if you want to have standard cruise control, hold this cancel button. And it's going to change it to your regular cruise. Now, um, 
some people don't really like that feature so you have the ability to change it if you don't want that adaptive cruise which is going to give you the adaptive steering as well as a nice following distance hold that same button again right here and that's going to bring your adaptive cruise back online for you super cool feature a lot of people have been wanting this feature for this truck on the right hand side you've got your voice recognition bluetooth and the directional pad and this dial which is also pressable will control your onboard drive display right here so uh, this is your home screen it's got a combination of information as you can see moving to the right brings you to your information pane where you'll have uh, access to various trip information and vehicle information we're just going to scroll along here so you can kind of see feel free to pause at any point if you'd like the info page options you can actually select everything that you want on here let's go ahead and just turn everything on just so for the next person who wants to look at that you can see you've got tons of information here to choose from so uh, moving to the right you've got music information nav phone and other various settings where you can keep customizing this system here so it's pretty cool you got two analog gauges and digital gauges up top here um, the truck is equipped with auto stop as you can see so whenever you come to a full stop the truck will turn off the engine to save you some fuel that this 6.2 likes to suck up um, you can turn that off i'll show you how in just a second uh, steering wheel itself does tilt and telescope for you um, even on the denali's it is going to be a manual setup so just unlock that and move it up down in or out wherever you need it to be uh, left hand wand is going to control your blinkers brights and your wipers uh, check it out on the end here you've got an option for your automatic high beams so um, high beams will turn on or off for you thanks to this camera system right here which also registers the lines on the road for you for lane departure warning and prevention and gives you that adaptive steering when you are cruising shifter will be on the column manual shifting capabilities right here take note again tow mode is back over here now okay up above, you've got a nice sunroof right here with a manual sunshade. Homelink garage controls. Controls for the sunroof for tilting and sliding. You've also got a power sliding rear window on this bad boy. Bam. Back glass is also gonna be heated for you. You've got LED lighting front and rear in the cab. Um, a nice little pilot light for nighttime driving. Just a nice soft white light. Comes down onto everything for easier visibility. Check out your rear view camera. So um, as you can see, that is on right now. It gives you a super wide angle view, no glare. You can turn it off for a standard camera, but you know, why not just keep that on? Pretty sweet option there. You get some nice storage up above here on the center or up above the entertainment system on the dash. And then here is your entertainment system. So you can see right here, You've got access for your audio, phone, nav, the Wi-Fi hotspot. You can set up various user profiles, go into your settings, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've got your trailering app, climate control on screen, which is pretty nice. Um, so you can check that out or you've got your camera button. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Uh, this truck is equipped with your HD surround vision. So as you can see, you're going to have, I mean, 360 degree view around the truck in so many different ways. It's just absolutely crazy. So front bumper view, um, you can see around the truck at all times. It's super high definition. Turning the steering wheel shows you exactly where the truck is projected to go to. Super accurate. Um, and then you can change all these options down here by going through. Uh, you can check out your rear view camera. If you want to look straight down off the back of the truck, straight down over the front of the truck, uh, wrap around of the rear. And then again, you can check out your front wheels, turn those, check your curb, see where you're at. I mean, it's a big truck, big vehicle. It's nice to have all this extra vision. Rear wheel view. And then you can uh, go over here actually, check out your bed view camera as well. You got the tow camera right here. I mean, just so many different options and you can actually turn on or off whether you've got the reverse line or a tow line right here as you can see. So um, pretty cool features for sure. And then you do have options for extra trailer cameras and things of that nature if you want to uh, get the truck equipped that way. So. <clears throat> It's going to be it. Of course, you get your MyGMC app, which you can download to your phone and Sirius XM. Shortcuts will be down here, and then you've got uh, your Wi-Fi strength, ambient temperature, and current time. Analog controls are right here. Dials feel really nice to the touch. Down below will be your climate control system. It's automatic, dual climate, so set your temperature and just forget about everything else. Uh, mirrors and back glass, again, are heated. You've got heated, cooled seats right here. Mine's nice and toasty now. 
Uh, accessory switches will be right here for you. You've got lane departure warning and prevention, parking sensor control, your auto stop feature, which you can turn on or off. You can actually lower the tailgate from back here too, which is pretty neat. Uh, power inverter, uh, no one really cares about these two buttons, you know, they're there, but whatever. Um, power inverter, you've got one up front as well as in the back of the truck. Hill descent control, and you can actually turn your power boards on or off too. Got a built-in trailer brake right here. Your first pair of uh, USB type C and B ports, a 12 volt outlet, and again, the power inverter. Nice, large wireless charging pad, uh, very practical location here. The phone doesn't move around. Uh, a lot of other vehicles, you'll notice that they have a wireless charging pad, but uh, any amount of G-Force will just send the phone offline. So um, nice storage spot here, a couple cup holders, another phone holder spot right here. Center console is going to have your second pair of USB ports with an SD card slot as well as an auxiliary port. Up here, you've got a nice little glove box. They moved the lock down to the bottom one for the new body style, by the way. Owner's manuals will be inside for you right there. And then, of course, checking out your visors. These are going to be mirrored, lit, telescopic as well. That's gonna cover the front seat area, guys. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Let's go ahead and check out our back seat. Power boards coming out again. We'll wait for that to come in. I just wanna show you a cool feature real quick. So um, you can actually kick the side right here and notice how much further it brings out the board. In case you need to grab something out of the bed right here, you can just step right on up and here we are so uh, pretty neat feature and that can stay on there at all times we can just kick it back in with the door open you'll see that it'll move back to that position as well so very intuitive system uh, great storage in the doors here uh, more wood grain on the trim rear passengers get to enjoy the enjoy their own cup holders up front you've got rear ventilation as well as heated outboard seats and your third pair of usb ports and another 12 volt outlet uh, rear passengers also get to enjoy their own leather pointed armrest with cup holders as you can see there is uh, a lot of utility with these rear seats here rear headrest can fold down for you you also have some storage in the outboard seats as well more storage down below with your roadside tools and this nice little under seat storage here too and check out your raised roof for taller people you got some hooks here and again some led lighting in the back it's so going to cover it for the uh, interior back here got some nice led tail lights back here nice large footsteps got your multi-pro tailgate we'll do a quick demo on that so uh, standard position number one it's going to be your standard tailgate that is easy lower so you can actually lower this from inside or with the fob right here as well so cool feature there position two got a nice little backstop right here as you can see position three you can drop this down be able to reach further into the bed or push something further in as well position four You've got a nice little stair step up onto your bed, and you also have a handle right here as well if you need some extra stability. So it's uh, pretty sturdy, you know, good construction right here. And anyways, coming back up here, position five. You've got a nice raised workbench right here. That's also easy lower. Everything comes down nice and soft. Also super light to put back up. And position six, you've got your raised backstop here for some nice bi-level storage. Got a nice bed liner back here, guys. We'll go ahead and keep checking this out. Got your LED lighting on the left and right hand side here. And your power inverter back here too, which is nice to have. Three levels of tie down points on all four corners of the bed and you also have two by four channels back here too so um, tons of utility in this truck guys it's got all the bells all the whistles all the power everything you'd want if you'd like any more information on this vehicle head on over to mccarthy chevy buick gmc.com make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family leave a comment if you have any other questions or if you feel like i might have left something out that you'd like to know most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date with all the vehicles that we're uploading to it on a daily basis for your informational needs. Thanks so much, guys. We hope you're having a wonderful day.